Hello everyone, I am Datta Trenika. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda for new day, new topic. And our today's topic is very interesting that interview question. And if you are new to our channel, then please note that this will be presented in a part so as to have a better understanding as well as guidance on the interview related question. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created various topics of engineering and same can be seen in our playlist. Also for our viewers, we have also started our new blog that is eFunda channel where one can see the detailed technical discussions as well as article on various technical topic and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is interview questions. Introduction to interview question as this is important in everyone's career so that one can clear their respective discipline interviews to achieve their career goals as well as professional development with the help of their growth and it is very important to understand the concept and type of the questions generally asked in the interview. It is very simple but one should have a common understanding while answering your interview question smartly and get attention of your interviewer that the candidate who is attending the interview is the most suitable and capable candidate to have in our organization for better growth of our organization. Basically here one can see the interface diagram where we are going to see that all the field instruments are connected through various types of pair cables to the junction boxes and further from the junction boxes the multi pair cable is connected to the control room via marshalling cabinet. This is how the general the sequence for the instrumentation for passing the signal from one point to the another point that is a field from field to the control room. So instrumentation is a branch of engineering which deals with the measurement indication and control of a various primary measurement process parameters like flow, level, pressure and temperature that is FLPT. And other physical parameters including density, specific gravity, viscosity, speed, sound, light, intensity, etc. And the type of instrument needed for such kind of a measurement for ensuring better quality as well as the efficiency of the end product are decided by an instrumentation engineer. Hence, the role of an instrumentation engineer is a very critical from the point of view design and safety of the plant or processing unit. It goes into the various stages like detail engineering, control system engineering and detail or design construction engineering. Similarly, in such type of example, one should always understand that the detailing and designing is very critical in terms of the selection and sizing of any field instrument as well as the control system components to perform requested operation to get a maximized output with a high efficiency and reduced error. And for various kind of other technical details also you can visit to our technical blog that is eFunda which we have started where one can see the topics related to engineering instrumentation, control system related, project planning, etc. For measurement, electronic transmitter is very important and for that installation and using for the measurement, we are going to see the transmitter mounting gas service. For the gas measurement on a pipeline, the DP flow transmitter should be mounted above the process line one can refer to the typical hookup arrangement where flow direction on orifice plate are shown and the transmitter installation above the line and similarly 
the typical orientation tab for gas and vapor service when the line is uh, horizontal then the 45 degree up is also shown because the gases have a property of a self draining venting and secondly condensate forming this arrangement avoids the dirt and solids to enter potentially and plug the impulse tubing and ensure that the impulse tubing remain full of gas for this we have presented the animation where how the gas service measurement is being done transmitter mounting for the liquid and steam service we are going to see for liquid measurement on pipelines the dp flow transmitter should be mounted below the process line one can refer to the typical hookup for the liquid service in the figure as well as the orientation of the tapping that is for horizontal line it is a 45 degree below is shown that is a preventing of freezing if there is any risk that the process fluid in the transmitter pressure sensing assembly could freeze a used steam jacket or higher to maintain the temperature of the fluid in case of the flowing fluid is of the different uh, in nature where the steam is required or or else it will get clogged into the line for this arrangement shown we have seen or we have to see the animation which we have created for the uh, process liquid line for the horizontal piping and the installation of the transmitter similarly now for the steam service the similar type of hookup used as for the liquid service only difference is that the condensation spot will be added so as to have the pot at the same level where the tappings are being connected and this will ensure that whatever the condensates are there that will be settled into the condensate pot and your impulse line will be always pressurized so as to have the steam measurement after installation and mounting now we are moving on to the design and measurement related questions where one should know the fundamentals of these terms which are mainly related to the transmitter design and measurement point of view first is the url that is upper range limit that means the transmitter is designed at the highest pressure respected to the sensor url lrl that is a lower range limit transmitter is designed at a lower pressure respected the sensor lrl urv urv is the upper range value it is the maximum pressure at which transmitter is being calibrated lrv is the lower range value it is a minimum pressure at which transmitter is calibrated span that is a calibrated range it is the work range where the calibration is known as a span for example 500 to 3000 mm of h2o then the span is 3000 minus 500 that is a 2500 mm of h2o that means span is equals to urv minus lrv and now for the turn down ratio it is a ratio between url that is a upper range limit and the minimum measurement pressure that is a minimum calibrated span one can refer the sketch where one can see the example where lrl is minus 1000 millibar lrv is 0 urv is 100 millibar and url is the plus 1000 millibar then the turn down will be url by urv after calculating with the values turn down ratio is coming as 10s to 1 concept related to flow measurement engineering what is the difference between mass flow and a volumetric flow mass flow is the moment of a fluid over time quantified related to the fluid's mass whereas the volumetric flow is the moment of a fluid over time quantified 
relative to fluids volume mainly mass and another is the volume this is how it has been defined what is the flow meter compensation flow compensation is the act of determining the degree to which a particular volumetric flow rate would change if there is a change in a temperature or pressure are different what is mean by beta ratio what is its nominal or normal range beta ratio is the ratio of orifice diameter to internal pipe diameter its range is from 0.4 to 0.08 and for this concept related question we have already created the detailed video on our channel under the engineering playlist one can refer and may be useful to you all so as it will help you to attend the interview next question what are the piping requirement in terms of a minimum upstream and a downstream straight line near the orifice element the requirement of a minimum straight line depends on mainly two factor first is the beta ratio the more beta ratio the more is the requirement of the straight line especially more upstream side second the type of disturbances on the upstream side example one elbow in a single plane two elbow in a one plane two elbows in a different plane a reducer or expander regulator or a valve operation etc it impacts the straight line requirement mainly this disturbances increases the upstream length so as to have the settled flow so as to get the correct reading across the orifice plate next one is a little different can the electronic flow meter measure the flow of a fluids like steam air gases or any such compressible fluid answer that is the electromagnetic flow meters are designed as a liquid flow meters they cannot measure flow rates of the compressible fluid this is how the typically we have touched the concept related to the flow measurement moving on to the temperature measurement we will see the typical question related to the temperature measurement engineering what is a standard temperature sensors mainly two popular sensors are thermocouple and rtd one can refer to the symbol of the thermocouple as well as the rtd these two sensors are being used for the temperature measurement what is thermocouple how does it work one can see the figure and correlate this answer that the two dissimilar metals are welded that is a joint at a one end to form a hot junction and the other end form a cold junction and when there is a temperature difference between the hot junction and the cold junction then the millivolt is produced into the loop which is proportional to the temperature difference from hot junction to the cold junction the amount of millivolt produced by a thermocouple depends on the characteristics and type of thermocouples like j or k type etc it varies according to the material used for forming the junctions next what is the name of the cable used to connect a thermocouple to a measuring instrument the intermediate cable used for connecting a thermocouple from field to the control room is called a compensating cable what is rtd what is a commonly used rtd one can see the rtd arrangement with a sensor with a protective sheath or tub rtd is a positive temperature coefficient resistance which provides a linear rise in its resistance versus the rise in the temperature pt100 that is a platinum resistance which offers 100 ohm at 0 degree celsius what are the advantages and disadvantages of an rtd over a thermocouple rtd are accurate at the 
लोअर रेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट सच एज जीरो डिग्री सेल माइनस टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस टू प्लस टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस विच इज अ नैरो और लोअर रेंज ऑफ अ बैंड फॉर द टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट आर टी डीज आर एक्सपेंसिव कंपेयर टू द थर्मोकपल एज देर आर लिमिटेशन इन द मेजरिंग एट द हायर रेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर लाइक थर्मोकपल this is how we have typically covered the interview related question where we have seen mainly the arrangement of a installation or a measurement technique as well as the concept behind the design and detail engineering with the help of hook up some concept related to the measurement where how the transmitter ranges and are selected and finally we landed and ended at the temperature as we have already mentioned that this will be in a series and stay tuned and keep watching our series of interview questions as part of e funda channel we are introducing e funda channel membership welcoming you all be a part of a e funda channel community click join button to join this community and we have membership options are e funda basic e funda standard e funda premium one can click on a join button and get the details of these three membership options and get benefited from our membership be a part of e funda channel community and thanks for joining this community and supporting e funda team and encouraging them to create more and more valuable and technical videos for our subscribers and members with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topics related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic